Hello, my name is Kathy, and today I'll be continuing the discussion on Bach flower essences with Vine. But before I do this, I wanted to let you know that because I have a great many videos now on many different topics, that I've decided to make several different video playlists, so that it's easier to find the videos of greatest interest. So please check out my playlist page. When trying to determine which Bach flower essence to use, it's necessary to understand the characteristics and symptoms of the essence from a psychological position. This is because the Bach flower essences work on the subtle bodies of the, sub the human subtle anatomy field. For healing to take place, you need to look at the situation from this different level. So, what are the characteristics of vine? The Bach flower essence of vine is for self-confident, intolerant people who want others to march to their tune. Vine is used for the basic treatment of people who are obstinate, intolerant, have inflexible convictions, feel a need to dominate, have rigid, dogmatic thought processes, and fanatical tendencies. It is used to treat all pathological conditions related to mental inflexibility or intolerant domination and for the need to impose one's will on others. In daily life, it is used to treat people with superiority complexes, the know-it-alls with dominating behavior and mental inflexibility. It is also used to treat people that act like the perpetual teacher and the domestic tyrant. The Vine Syndrome person is extroverted and has a lot of self-confidence. They have a very structured thinking process and feel a need to dominate others. When positively developed, the vine type is self-assured, has good judgment, and is up to ta tackling any problem. The positive vine type always knows a solution to any problem that they face, and so they never feel desperate, and they gladly place their knowledge at the service of others. They are at heart an idealist and highly esteemed advisor. They have the natural ability to reduce problems to a few key factors, which goes a long way towards restraining desperation or insecurity. When positively developed, these people also avoid trying to force their opinions on others because they know their own limits. In whatever position they find themselves in, teacher or head of family, philosopher or statesman, priest or soldiers, those amongst them inevitably yield to them and appoint them to a leadership position, which they assume skillfully and convincingly. With their usual self-assured convictions and their finely tuned sense of responsibility, and their clear and orderly mind, they are truly a blessing in emergencies and catastrophes. They never lose their head and always know how things must turn out. When negatively expressed, the vine type's clear opinion can turn into an obstinate dogmatism. Their love of order can change to intolerance and their readiness to help can become a need to dominate. In this situation, the vine type takes themselves, th takes themselves to be exemplary or without fault, and tries with great intolerance to force their own opinions on others. Sometimes their ability to act in a goal-oriented, uncompromising manner can turn into a small-minded thoughtlessness, making life difficult for those around them. Whether the vine type is a pedantic boss or a small-minded teacher, a fanatical slave or a leader without compassion, a pig-headed policeman or an intolerant ideologist or a petty, compulsive, domestic tyrant. The negative vine type feels that anything they cannot have, others should not be able to have either. Also, because they have a great need for clearly defined relationships, they always make sure to keep order or do the right thing. Disorder lack of clarity or chaos makes these people very insecure 
and will then lead to obstinate, blind thinking in a lesser form. The vine tendencies can also manifest in as an excessive love of order, small-mindedness, a need to impose one's will on others, an inability to accept other points of view, narrow-mindedness, mental inflexibility, dogmatism, intolerance, self-righteousness, and compulsive thinking. The Bach flower essence of vine is the essence used to treat people who suffer from intolerance. It helps to promote mental flexibility and the ability to learn and acquire new knowledge. This essence will also break down pettiness and fanatically obstinacy in people. It frees us from the compulsion of blind convictions or dogmatic thoughts and makes us more tolerant, open-minded, kinder and happier. It loosens up excessive discipline, releases tension, and works against all illnesses related to an ins insufficient inner flexibility, such as calcification, hardening of the arteries, or high blood pressure. Humanity can be divided into many categories, among them leaders and followers. Those who are followers will always have a sense of powerlessness or helplessness and will feel that they are merely small cogs in a very big machine. While those who are leaders are filled with a sense of personal responsibility and believe that their lives or even the well-being of humankind depend upon their actions. Vine types belong to this category. They cannot live their lives passively cannot simply sit back and allow themselves to be guided. They must always have their hands on the wheel and attempt to shape the world to fit their way of thinking. The passive and active approaches to life are of equal and complementary necessity. What would become of a leader without his followers? And vice versa. How can an active impulse be put into play with a without a corresponding passive act of giving way, or an act of devotion without a corresponding act of receiving. We all carry such contradictory impulses and attributes within us. For this day we must be active, and for the next day we must be passive. Here we must take, there we must receive, and then on and on in a constant flux according to the circumstances. In order to be physically and spiritually healthy, we must realize our potentials and inclinations as fully as we are able. This means that we must be true to our natures. A sensitive, shy person should not try to be a robust daredevil, and an active, thick-skinned, practical person will never become a sensitive aesthetic. The same applies to social behavior. Anyone who does not feel called to serve his help fellow human beings should preferably follow more egotistical pursuits, while anyone who is born to be a warrior should take care not to be a caretaker. The problem of the vine type is not the predis predisposition in itself, but the extent to which and the manner in which it manifests. As long as they come into conflict either with themselves or with their environment, they will behave properly. Their strength of will, their clear thinking, and their tendency to impose their will, give commands or lead can be a true blessing, especially in emergencies or times of need. These people help to keep order and has the innate, innate capacity to get done those things that need to be done. There are situations in which the good of the community depends upon concentration, the unwillingness to compromise, and the strength of will of its leaders. In daily life, in the family, in relationships, in management, in politics, and in an intellectual life, the stabilizing influence and leadership qualities of the vine type are very useful. When the self-confident leadership qualities get the upper hand, however, 
They can squelch the vine type's ability to compromise and cause these people to become intolerant and ignore the needs of others or to act arbitrarily and without justification. The vine condition then becomes pathological. The vine qualities are sensible and even necessary in chaotic situations, but such behavior in daily life is unhealthy and when it becomes a habit, it makes the vine type unable to live flexibly and sensibly. The physical symptoms that accompany the vine condition are high blood pressure, degeneration of the joints, liver dysfunction, calcification. These are all warning signs. Their mission is clear, to be an upstanding, incorruptible, self-critical master teacher or leader who can simply it can simplify problems and make them solvable, and can convey their convictions and act as a negotiator and find new ways so that they may show others that they can do all of this only if they are asked and if they are needed. Some common combinations of vine with other Bach flower essences are as follows. Combined with beech, it helps with total intolerance. Combined with crab apple, it helps with petty fanaticism for cleanliness. Combined with holly, it helps with rage caused by opposition or errors. Combined with oak, it helps with dogmatic compulsion to achieve. Combined with rock water, it helps with a strict personality. Combined with vervain, it helps with absolutely intolerant behavior. Combined with white chestnut, it helps with compulsive dogmatism. Combined with willow, it helps with the embittered domestic tyrant. I have a great many videos now on many different topics, so I've decided to create several different video playlists so that it's easier to find the videos of greatest interest. So please check out my playlist page. Well, that's it for now. To stay up to date with my latest videos, make sure to subscribe to this free YouTube channel by clicking the red subscribe button right below this video. Take care.